Hey friends, today I'm coming on to share with you what I purchased from Dollar Tree for uh, Paper Terraces uh, 2024 Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge. Um, the challenge officially started on March 1st and ends on March 25th. So anybody can play along now or you can play along in a couple of months. Um, you are to create a journal using Dollar Tree items with a budget of $20 or less. Any type or theme is welcome. Uh, basic supplies and tools are excluded from your budget. So your glues, your scissors, all those things are excluded. Uh, scissors, glue, punches, things you already have for your main part of your journal. Um, and she's going to be having a lot of videos for inspiration, techniques, uh, things to help you be creative. She will be having some secret giveaways in some of her videos. And the final video will also have a giveaway. If you would like to participate and join uh, sharing your videos or photos, she's asking you to use hashtag paper terrace dtjj i will link her video down below for you guys so you can check out all the details there so i am on like a no spend right now like i'm really not spending money on things but my mom had given me a little money for helping her with something and so i used part of that money um to pick up a few things um I just kind of wandered the my Dollar Tree looking for things that sparked creativity in me so let me show you what I picked up I think I spent ten dollars on the items that I picked up I think so let's get into that and then I'll share with you the Dollar Tree items that I already have in my stash that I'll be using so first I picked up this um this is one of the wallpapers, the peel and stick wallpapers, but there's just something about navy that I absolutely love, and I love the pops of gold on this, so I think this is going to probably be the cover of my journal. That's the plan, so I picked that up. Then I picked up a package of the... Uh, eight count clasp envelopes the six by nine and I'm thinking that these would be good if you fold these in half and use this as a pocket so I picked that up I picked up these really pretty cards you get four note cards in envelopes and I love the kind of rainbow theme and it picks up on that navy blue in here and the gold in Crafter Square, I picked up two rub-on transfers. One had these numbers, and I thought that would be super fun to incorporate in the journal somehow. And then I love this one with the gardening. So I don't know what theme I'm going for the journal yet, um, but this I really liked these stickers, so I picked those up. So just because I purchased it does not mean that I have to use it in this journal. These are things that just kind of sparked creativity and joy when I was in the store then I also found these butterfly clips um, these barrettes um, and how pretty is that butterfly it's so intricate and you get two of these and I love adding these little um, clips on my project so I have those again not sure if I'm going to use them in my journal or not and then I found this bobby pin so you get the gold butterfly you've got the pink here and this one is my absolute favorite I love that these purple so that I love the purple on the butterflies that they have the purple and the pink and this is an actual barrette here that clips. Um, so you could use it as that. Or um, you could use it as like um, a hanging element. Or you could use it as um, uh, like a clasp or something. So those two were super fun not sure how I'm going to use them but I loved those 
And then the last thing I picked up was this scarf here um, that has these muted pinks and like this minty blue and the turquoise and then like the navy on there. And I think this goes really well with the note cards. And I think it goes really well with that blue here. So I was thinking this would work really well as like, you know, a closure or I could tear this up and turn this into like ribbon or something. So that is what I picked up. Um, and I think this was $10. Let's see. Uh, four, five, let's see. Yeah, I picked up eight items. So it would have been $10 that I spent on these items. And then let me set this aside and share with you the items I already have in my stash. And if you haven't seen these awesome baskets at the Dollar Tree, um, this one I had in my stash. I'm just using it to corral my items. But I have a couple of these folding baskets, but this one has a handle. How cute is that? So I picked it up in just a simple white. Um, and then the things that I have in my stash already is this graph paper. This ledger book, which is super cool. This was an awesome find. I love the kind of the bluish tint of the paper there. So we get a ton of sheets of that. I have this sketch pad. I have a couple of these. I like using these in my junk journals because they're not super thin paper, um, but they're not really thick either. So I have that. And then I have one of my stamp blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I pulled out these two... Um, these two stamps because I think with the this these colors and these that would be fun to do like a boho journal or something or just do like a garden journal so I haven't decided on the theme yet but I did pull these out um, both of these out from my stash and then I will be probably adding in some um, I'll probably be adding in some scrapbook paper from my stash as well, um, just to add some other colors in here. So once I figure out what scrapbook paper I want to use, I'll share with you that, and then we will build my uh, start building my journal. So make sure you head over, check out Paper Ch Terrace's challenge. I uh, know a bunch of ladies are joining, so make sure you head over and check her out and um, follow that hashtag Paper Terrace DTJJ. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. Bye.